Hello, my name is Kelly Bluen. I am a certified Zentangle teacher. Welcome to 15 Minutes of Zen. In this video, I'm going to guide you through creating a little piece of art using the Zentangle method of drawing. I'm using a Micron 03 pencil, a Zentangle brand graphite pencil for shading, and a Tortillon for blending. I'm also using a two inch by two inch small Zentangle tile. Feel free to use whatever you have on hand. Okay, to start, I'm gonna flip this over and I like to write the name of the tangle we're using on the back. So this one is called Starfish. And it was created by Nicole Dreyer. All right, and to start, I like to begin with pencil. And we're gonna start by putting a dot in each of the four corners. And then we're gonna connect those dots with a line. And then for this tangle, we're gonna start out by making a circle in the middle. And so I'm just gonna do it with pencil first just to make sure I kind of like where it's placed. Of course, it could be anywhere but I'm gonna do it in the middle. So right about there. And I guess the size of it is similar to the width of my pen. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my pen. And if I like the placement of my circle, I'm going to ink that in just like that. Now, because I'm doing this as a mono tangle by itself, I am putting it in the center. But if I was going to do this with other tangles, I might put it off to the side so that I could add other things around it. All right, and to start Starfish, we're gonna make these little pieces that come out. So I'm gonna go on the right-hand side here and I'm gonna angle out a little bit and out a little bit so it gets wider at the end. And I'm going right over my pencil mark there. And I close it off. I'll go to the opposite side and do that same thing and close that off. And I'm gonna go up to the top and down to the bottom. Again, narrow by the circle, wider out to the edge. Then I'm gonna add four more of these. And one in each corner. And this time I'm not gonna go over the outside. You could. And I have made this before where I make each of these a very different length. So some are short, some are really long. These tangles are meant to be a suggestion and you can play with them how you want. So you should have eight of those spokes coming out. And now I'm going to aura this circle, but I'm going to aura it on the outside. So I'm going to make the little round part and then I'm going to jump over that spoke and continue and jump and continue. So I'm lifting my pen each time I get to one of those little spokes. After that's done, I'm gonna take this first spoke shape over here to the right, and I'm gonna go just down a little bit, and I'm gonna make like the number seven. And I come out, and then I go down, and I came right up against it, but you could go out a little ways. 
And on the right hand side of this one, I'm going to make that seven shape. And I'm continuing in that same fashion of being wider at the top. Narrower at the bottom. Enjoying each line as I make it. When I get to that point, I'm going to switch sides. So now I'm going to make a backwards seven on the other side. And again, I'm coming just down to make it shorter than that previous shape. After I have all of those done, I'm going to go aura that middle circle again. So I'm going to start over here and I'm kind of making a curve following that circle line, jumping over, continuing it all the way around, nice and slow. Just like that. And now I go back and I repeat that seven on the right hand side of each shape. And I'm going down a little bit more to make it a little bit shorter. And when I get that side done, I go to the opposite side. Some of these might be getting a little bit close to each other, and that's okay. I forgot where I was. And then I go back and add that aura again. Your pieces might be getting really close together, that's okay. Fill that in where you can. And that's as far as I'm going to go. If I were making a larger tile, I could add more of these and keep going, but I'm gonna stop right there. And then just to enhance it a little bit, I'm gonna put a couple of straight spokes coming out with a little dot on the top. And I'm gonna do some different lengths. And I don't think I'm going to do every area. This just adds a little bit to the tile. Okay. I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to ink in that outside line, stopping at each corner and lifting my pen when I get to that starfish shape. And if I want, maybe I'll put some little black dots in the corner just to match those little spokes I have coming out. All right, I put my top on and I pick up my pencil for shading. Now I'm going to start by adding some graphite on the left hand side. of this circle and then blending that in a little bit. Just gives it a little bit of a rounded look to it. 
coming back and darkening that edge. Okay, and then in each of these large spokes, I'm just going to put a little bit of graphite coming off from that middle area. And take my blending tool and pushing it out towards the end of those spokes. And then each of these circles, it looks like this circle is laying over the next one and over the next one. So I'm just going to put a tiny, tiny bit of graphite on the outside edge of each of those circles. It's such a small amount and we're working so tiny right here. And I'm just going to smudge it a little bit. That just gives it some depth. And then lastly, if this was larger, I could put a little bit on each of these layers, but it's really tricky to do when we've worked so small. So maybe instead, I'll go around the outside edge of that whole shape and just give it a little bit of shading just to lift it off the page so it looks more like it's floating. Shading is just a fun thing to play with however you do it. Try different ways each time. And I'm just going to very gently pull that out a little bit. So it's got a smooth transition from the darker to the lighter. looks pretty and now the my tortillon has some graphite on it still so I like to just go around the outside edge of this frame I just like the way that looks all right there we go starfish I'm going to put my initials on the front. And then turn it over. I always write the date. And then I also like to write a little journal entry where I write what's going on in my life, what season it is, um, some maybe somebody I'm praying for or somebody that's on my heart so I'll write the date and a little journal entry so I can look back on this and remember what I was thinking about as I was making it and that's it for more information you can visit zentangle.com you can also visit my Facebook page called let's tangle thank you